This is a demonstration of NoteTaker HD, an app for the Apple iPad. You can create notes by writing on the screen with your finger or with a compatible stylus. And the notes look like this or like this. And they're organized using this managing window into documents that have one or more pages. So let's create a new one by creating a blank doc. And you can just write right on the screen like this. And let's say we put notes. Now writing like this on the screen doesn't give you very much fine control. So NoteTaker HD lets you zoom in and then write directly. on the screen. That looks a little better, but you know, for doing diagrams or something that may be okay, but for writing a lot that gets very tedious. So this is one window editing. It's called unzoomed editing. If you push the zoom button, then you get zoomed editing with two windows. And you have this detail area up here in the page view, and whatever is in the detail area shows up down here in the close-up view. Now we can move the margin over here and you can move this either by dragging or by pressing the return key. And you can write down here big. But you read advance, you read at the top small. You can fit a lot of text on the page this way, much more like a pencil and paper. But pressing advance over and over again can get pretty tedious. So there's another thing called auto advance. If you press the zoom tools, you can turn auto advance on. It says auto advance on. Now watch what happens. See that gray area? So you're going to watch this lets you write. Now the rightmost part here corresponds to the rightmost part to the leftmost part here of the gray so that as soon as I come down it moves over. Continuously. You can just write on and on and on and on, and it just moves as you're writing. You don't have to stop and think about it. In addition to the thin black ink, you can choose all sorts of colors and thicknesses for the pen. And you have undo, and you have redo. Now this doesn't look so nice up there, so you can use the eraser erase here or you can also use it for finer control down here. Now let's change the mode from ink mode to type text mode and we'll drag from here and there are a lot of settings you have, a lot of attributes. Let's make that look a little nicer and we'll position it over here. So that's one page. We'll push the plus here to get another page. So this is now a two page doc. And this is page two. Now on this one, let's go to another mode, shapes mode. There are all sorts of built-in shapes, and here we'll take some. This is the grid grid shapes. There are about 60 different shapes, and a lot of them are very smart in that you have a lot of options you can change. So let's make it look like that and change the scale a little bit. And then we'll go back to ink mode, unzoom it, and you can write right on the graph. Another mode is images mode. Here let's take a photo from the camera 
And um, this is a receipt. And I'll just put it down here. And we'll take it, rotate it, make it a little bigger. And we can go back into ink. Let's see here. Now here's another mode. Select mode. In select mode, you can indicate what you want to select and then you can move it. Now this actually moved not exactly what we wanted, so we'll undo it. And now let's do this. We can tell it to only select ink type text or shapes, but not images. So now when I move, it only moves those. You can also, there are a lot of tools, I'm going to copy this and go to the page before and do a paste. And move this down here. Confirm the paste. And now I have this on the page. And we can push view. Now I can zoom it as I see fit without worrying about writing on it. And I can actually even see all the pages. And you can flip to go between them. OK, now we're back at the managing view. Pages are organized into folders. This is one folder. Push the Folders button, and here you can see some other folders. Just tap on the right arrow and it moves into the folder. There are tools in the Managing window that let you work on your docs. So you can delete it, you can duplicate them, you can staple docs together so that all the pages become one doc. You can move them to other folders. You can set tags. So for example, this is for demo, so now it's listed as a demo tag. And then if you go to Filters, I can say, only show me things that have Demo or Demo and Mass TLC in it, um, or Mass TLC on it. Or, let's see, uh, ones that are uh, their favorites. Let's uh, reset the filters. You can also change the layout over here so that I could see as just the thumbnails or just the names. Another tool is the thumbnail tool. This lets you explicitly set the thumbnail and not use what it automatically chooses. You can set the name. You can also just tap up here to be able to set the name. Set flags and favorites. And you can even save the document, one or more of them, to a file which you can then email to somebody else and they have the same app, they'll be able to edit it, continue editing it. Another thing you can do with Note Taker HD is take a PDF file, this one is in a browser, and you can open in into Note Taker HD, tell it which folder to put it into, and let's say that we want to be able to have, let's say, ink that looks like this, and now I can annotate that doc. You could then output it. and send it as an email. In addition to viewing things down here, we could look at it in full screen. And you can get a list of pages to be able to go, let's say, to a specific page and look through it. And at any point, you can bring it up for annotation.
Notetaker HD also has a full help system with a table of contents that lets you get to what you'd like right away. So here is Backup and Restore. This was a demonstration of Notetaker HD. I hope you like it.